And welcome to Learning from Leaders. This is your host, Patrick Dewar. My guest today, John Davis of ArboristMarketing.com. And uh, the sponsor of today's show, I have to admit, I'm really thankful for today's show, and you'll love it because I brought in a specialist, not just in marketing, not just in business growth, but someone who has uh, been able to develop or grow any company that he's worked with in the in the arborist arena, in the tree care industry, in a, in a pretty massive way. And I wanted to bring him in because you've got someone that has uh, created great and terrific growth for, um, for that industry. And um, I'm, I'm really thankful for it. I've known John Davis for a number of years. And, I'm, and we've been in uh, uh, mar uh, mastermind groups together. We've worked together in different capacities. And I've always watched how he has been a massive student of not only his trade, but the industry that he really understands is the real business that we're about. Now, if you're in a, a service industry or you're in a business of any type, you will grow from listening to John Davis. So with that, John, thank you so much for being on the air. Glad to be here. Well, today I want to get right into um, really your story. I want to. Uh, so, would you tell us a little bit about how you got into tree care? Yeah, uh, really, like most people get into business, uh, you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to be in a, a business uh, for yourself, and so you you learn the industry, you learn the technical part of it, uh, and which you should. And so you spend your time, you spend your effort, uh, becoming the best at what you do. Okay. And so long uh, after four or five years in business, I found uh, not only was that necessary, but there, there, there's a problem. The phone doesn't ring, doesn't, doesn't matter how good you are. And so I hit that ceiling uh, that uh, most people in our industry was hitting, uh, $250,000, dollars $325,000 a year, uh, not making much, working a lot of hours. And uh, so I knew from my past experience with being with McDonald's Corporation and everything is that uh, something was wrong here, you know. I'm good, they ain't coming. And uh, built the best rat trap, you've heard that story, and they, they wasn't beating a, a path to my door. And so uh, I went out in search of uh, marketing or some way to get people to, to call and so I could let them know how good we were. Found in our industry there wasn't any, or, or very little of it. So I began to get into other industries and, and uh, began to uh, create swap files and stuff of how they were doing it. Uh, and to make a, a long story a little shorter, is uh, uh, met people in marketing uh, that uh, that's what they taught. Jay Abraham, Dan Kendi, these guys. Uh, so began to uh, put some money and effort into that and began to get results and began to get taught a uh, thing called emotional direct response marketing. Uh, and so couldn't do it how the big guys were doing it. Didn't have the money the big guys had. Uh, so, out of all of that, uh, got, a, got a, a mindset change, and that is that I uh, was not a, a provider of tree services uh, and, and landscape services. I was, I need to be a marketer of a tree service or tree services or tree care. When that mindset, which took me a little while, it's not over an ideal, uh, once I did that, things changed, and, and things changed in a rapid way. Uh, uh, tripling sales in about three years, or a little under three years, uh, quadrupling profits, uh, end up times five in five years. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we took a, uh, a small uh, fledging tree service firm that was basically like everybody else's, you know, same old, same old, same old, uh, name, rank, and serial number, uh, and uh, created a multi million dollar business out of it, you know. With, and, and I'm bragging here, I don't brag, just fact, is uh, uh, with me not uh, heavily involved in it. And so, uh, I was able then to do more on outside the box, working on the entity <laughs> and not inside of it. And so it got to be fun. Uh, I got to do a lot of things that I, that I, that I wanted to do and, uh, and put more effort into marketing. Now, your experience, you're, you're really the, the, uh, the thing that flipped the switch, it seems to be, and looking back on it, and setting you free from your own business was an accident, wasn't it? That's right. What happened in 1995 is uh, I'd, I'd created these systems, put them in the business, had faith in them, and, and they started to give me more time off, more time to do stuff, but I was still 
somewhat involved in the business. Uh, I was still there. I was afraid to let go. I mean, I was afraid to do it. I had to sell every job. I had to be on every, you know. Uh, and, and so I was bringing salespeople in, uh, Michael Gerber, people's heard of him, uh, and uh, uh, I began to put his systems in the business. So I had, the, I had systems in the business, but I was afraid to let them run on autopilot. Had a major car wreck in uh, November the, uh, the uh, 12th, I believe it was, of 1995. <clears throat> was uh, knocked unconscious in the hospital for three days uh, before I ever came to. A uh, very major accident, uh, you know, crushed leg, uh, broke pelvis, uh, crushed head, all, everything was broke. A very important thing happened, and that is when, when, you, when I finally came to, and I finally began to look around, you know, what's, what's going on, my first thought was the business, you know, what, what happened? Well, lo and behold, I found the business doing very, fine, very, very well. Uh, they didn't really need me. Uh, the systems that I had put in the business, they were, they were simply using. Uh, and uh, I would try to involve myself some. You know, they, they'd be kind to me. I'm not saying I didn't have to do some things, and, but they would just begin to just send me summaries over the hospital, and I, I was out for about a year, uh, a little over a year, really, in a wheelchair most of that time, full body cast, everything else. Uh, couldn't go, uh, couldn't get up there, wanted to. But not only did we, uh, uh, the business do fine, the business increased in sales. We, we, we stayed on board and better, than what we did with me involved in it, so that was a, that was a, that was a takeaway. That that was when everything changed tremendously in my life. Uh, when I, when I found that systems do work, and uh, and and you do need to be a marketer of your business, and you you do need to be outside of it. You know, uh, like uh, Michael Gerber says, you need to get where you could call the office uh, and say, "I won't be back for thirty days." Uh, and you won't hear from me. Well, I'm there, and I'm not bragging, but through these systems, we're there. So you, you actually took a year off, <laughs> not, not, not voluntarily, it, but voluntarily. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's say that was one act of providence that you really wish had not happened, and right. yet it broke the chain. It, it was a good thing, really. And I know we're going to take a break here in a second, and I want to make sure that you guys get the value of what John has said. He's literally developed systems that produced massive growth in his business in a way that that you will grow and benefit from. If you're in a service business, if you own your own business, you want to be back after the break so you can hear more about how John Davis and ArboristMarketing.com can make a huge difference in your life too. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Learning from Leaders. My guest today is John Davis of ArboristMarketing.com. He's a specialist in the tree care industry that really is a coach to arborists throughout the country. I'm so thankful for John being here, and you will be too, because in our last section, you learned about how he had developed systems in his business to the point that he took a year off. Now, Obviously, if you were here with us, you know, it wasn't voluntarily, he was in an accident, but the result was, is his business grew tremendously because of the systems he had put in place and the, the people that he had put in place that made all the difference. John, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. I want to get right into <coughs> the experience that you teach arborists to create in their business. What do you? What do you? What are some of the key components that you have um, that you've taught or that you teach in uh, ArborsMarketing.com? Okay, the, the the most important thing, of course, the mindset. We've got to get the mindset changed. Uh, that you now are a marketer of services, not necessarily you know the technical. You know, here again, you need need that. I'm knocking that, uh, but you need to be a marketer of your service. And so that's that's a tremendous mindset because now everything changes. Okay, what you think of when you get up in the morning changes when now you're the marketer. Okay. And so that's the first thing we teach. Uh, the next thing we do is teach systems in the business. Everything has to be systematized. 
uh, if, it, if it's put in a system, it gets done from, 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 from the phone call uh, to the setting up the proposal uh, to, to even your marketing, uh, the marketing plans. And so we teach systems that we put in the business that, that basically works on autopilot. Uh, for instance, newsletter service. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we set that up in their businesses uh, to where that's done automatically, and uh, it's done. Uh, it's not something you have to remember. It's something that's done. Uh, we create uh, uh, systems in the, the call center to where uh, the pre-qualification of, of, of clients goes forth, the, the, uh, uh, and, and what's going to happen on the property. We make the customers comfortable. We teach them how to do that. We also teach a tremendous referral system. Uh, that, that can increase uh, most businesses 30% under six months, probably 90 days, okay, uh, that we can do that. We teach the, uh, the pricing, a pricing system. Uh, how should you be pricing? Are you getting what you, you need to get? We also, uh, again, teach the uh, tremendous follow-up systems in the business. Uh, and then all of that culminates in a, in a relationship with that client, and that's that's the biggest thing, okay, is systems, mindset systems, and relationships, and how to do that. Now, I know that in, in your, the university that you've started for Arborist, uh, arboristmarketing.com, that you actually start that relationship with the Arborist with um, the six mistakes? Yes, what we do is we send them through a, a, a marketing course. It's a, it's a six uh, video course. Uh, let you get to know us, uh, let you know what we're all about, uh, see if this is a good fit, okay? Uh, and so we, we send them through that first. That, that's free of charge, going to the site to get that. Uh, and then at that point, we bring them to an advanced course, uh, which is not uh, prohibitively expensive, uh, that, that begins to tell them exactly the nuts and bolts of how to do it, okay? On to a program uh, that then gives them the actual materials uh, to do it. It's like a, done for you. Done, done for you system. Newsletters, done for you. Uh, you need a brochure, <clears throat> done for you. Uh, you need a bid sheet, done for you. Okay. Uh, you need a three sequence in the letter to, to promote a certain area, done for you. As long as you're a member of the, of, of the Arbus Market University, this stuff is done for you already. You take our name off, put yours on it. Right. You know, do it. You, copyright free. Uh, so it's it's a tremendous thing because when I when, when I started you couldn't find this stuff right and and even if you could it takes a long time and I can tell you tens of thousands of dollars per, to 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 build this stuff so it's built for you it's right. done uh, all you have to do is be willing to do it just implement that's all you have to do now you've been doing this for a while though with even some of your other you have um, uh, licensees of your of yes. your system. Yes. And what's the typical result that you've been able to generate for those those licensees? Okay, uh, most all companies we go into, uh, we're, we're, we're going we're to increase your sales. Uh, generally, and this isn't a guarantee, but it's generally uh, by three, okay, uh, by putting in these systems, okay. So we, we, we can almost guarantee, in fact, we have a guarantee in the business, if we don't do that, get your money back. It's that simple. Because we can do it with these systems because these are systems that are on the radar uh, people aren't using. Uh, they don't know about them. can't use that which you don't know about. It's not branding. It's not uh, big business branding. It's under the radar getting to the clients and, and making a, an emotional a touch with them clients for them to, to, uh, to use you. See, see what we teach is, 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 is what's called caging in the clients. Right. We want you to cage them in. They're, they're going somewhere else is not an option. Okay. So... But when we first go into a, uh, a company and teach the pricing and put in place the systems, uh, what we normally see is within six months, uh, we see a doubling, tripling of the sales in six months, and sometimes time forward profits. Wow. Now, people say that's, that's, that's awesome. Well, here again, that's why the guarantees in place, because if, if we don't do it, don't pass. That's simple. We teach that throughout the deal. That's what we teach at Tree Care also. Now, you've been doing that, though, with every part of the university. I yes. mean, you, you start it. I mean, the first part is free. Just go to, what, what, what would you want them to do? Uh, go, go to, to armoristmarketing.com. Right. Or sign up. Uh, we immediately send you one a week, uh, one class a week. Go through it, uh, look at it, implement, then go to the next class uh, and, and, and see what this is doing. Because, see, just by going through this class, uh, you know, I guarantee you, if, if you will implement what's just, just in this class, you're, you're, you're going to increase your sales 30%. Right. Just by doing that. And, and in the advanced course, we show them a technique or a strategy uh, that they can do that will increase 
pretty much overnight sales by 20 to 30 percent. That that is unique. Now anybody in the service industry could be a bit uh, could benefit from it. Marketing is marketing is marketing is marketing. Uh, right. uh, true, this is this is uh, catered to the tree and landscape industry. Doesn't matter what business you're in. HVAC, uh, uh, roofing, plumbing, doesn't matter. These strategies work in every company. Right. In fact, they work in retail. They work in, you know, it's not catered to retail, but you could take the same strategies, use them in any business. Because, see, marketing doesn't change. Marketing stays the same. Now, you may word it different, okay? The, the lingo is different in, uh, for an arborist and tree care than it is for a, a, a plumber, okay? Right. But it doesn't take much to change that. See, that's what I did when I, when I built these systems. I stole them, borrowed them, uh, from other industries. Yeah. Because we had none in our industry. I guarantee so, you paid a high price for those things along the well, way. Well, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, literally. But we brought it into the industry, revamped it for the tree care industry and landscape, which is, which is we can show you to do with, with, with any service. It doesn't matter. So if you're a plumber or a roofer, we can, in very little time, show you how to change this for your, your industry. So the, it's the six... Is it six deadly mistakes? It, it, it's, a, it, it's the six mistakes that uh, tree owners commit that is fatal to their business if they don't fix. If they don't fix it. And, and we, we, so we go over that and how to fix them. Very good. Okay. I will tell you, I, I actually listened in, to all of the, the six classes, and I was really surprised at how transferable it is into any industry that I've worked with. And I was amazed at how powerful the tools were. I mean, there was one tool in there that I listened to that as I saw it and I saw how easy it is to implement, that it could easily double a person's business if they would just implement it. And that was just one of them, one of the keys. And they, there, were, there were six, and I was sitting there just all the way through it going, wow, if you use this, you'd see X amount of growth. If you use this or that, I mean, any one of the six tools. The, the sixth one was the one that I was blown away by because it really brought into play how to um, increase your affluence by increasing your influence. And I'll let... I'll let the, the video speak for itself. Just go to arboristmarketing.com. Now, we're about to take a break. When we come back, we're going to get farther into the ways that John has been able to help so many companies and the keys that, that uh, he brings about to make the difference in your business. We'll be right back. And welcome to Learning from Leaders. This is your host, Patrick Dewar. My guest today is John Davis of ArborsMarketing.com. John is a tree care specialist. Well, that's kind of an understatement. He's somebody that has had national impact in the arborist industry or tree care industry. And I'm really thankful for him being here. One of the best things that I'm, I want you to get out of today's show is how many industries John's material can be transferred into. Not just the tree care industry, and I hope that if you're in that industry, that you will go to arborismarketing.com and let him begin to show you how you can avoid the six biggest mistakes and grow your business right now, but develop a relationship with John. And so as we get into this, up, this, this section of learning from leaders, I want to talk about how you have been able to secure such tremendous growth for all the industries or all the companies that you've worked with. John, thank you for being on the show. Glad to be here. Yep. Why don't we get into what are some of the things that um, the, the folks that you've worked with, what are some of the keys that you begin to implement right away? 
One of the things we do when we go into a business once they've uh, uh, agreed to go on with us is is begin to reallocate their marketing budget, which has been a blow, uh, just a, a tremendous thing for a lot of our clients, is that a lot of them are throwing a lot of money at a lot of wasted advertisement and uh, non-measurable. Because see, the difference between uh, institutional marketing and the marketing that we teach is we teach everything you do must be measurable. You must know what the ROI, the return on your investment is, or don't do it, okay? Uh, so we've been, we, we, we've been able to allocate uh, budgets that sometimes are, are $50,000, cut them down to 10 and under uh, by doing a most direct response and, and, and measurable type marketing. So you're not just throwing stuff, you know, that, that what we call letter fly marketing, you know. Everybody else is doing it. So right. it's what we call name, rank, and serial number, okay? Uh, the yellow page looks just like the next person's. Uh, the ad, look, you know, they're using it, so I'm going to use it, okay? We, we destroy that, okay? Then we begin to rebuild that with things that's measurable, okay? Where if I'm going to spend a dollar, I want a buck and a half, or I want a buck 20. If you're not getting it, you go somewhere else. So you test. And, and that has been the greatest thing that is an eye-opener uh, to, to businesses that we deal with because... They're spending a lot of money. If they're spending 50 grand on Yellow Pages and all this stuff, uh, then they are, you know, uh, they drop that down to 10,000, but yet their business is increasing. So we, so we immediately can put $30,000 or so, or at least 60% of your marketing budget on your bottom line and use that for, you know, somewhere else. And so that's been the, the, the greatest eye opener for most of them, okay? Then we immediately put in a guarantee system, uh, which uh, uh, closes sales 30% and more, uh, you know, uh, almost overnight, okay? Then we put in the newsletter system, uh, which will, again, over a period of a year, increase 30%. But back to your original question, it's the, it's the reallocation of their marketing budget uh, and what now you can do with them dollars. And, 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 and the next biggie would be now they know where every dollar's going. They don't have to give a Yellow Page company, you know, 15 grand, cross their fingers, and because it's not how many that calls, it's how many you close, right. okay, uh, and, and, and good profitable clients. Uh, so uh, once you do that, you begin to attract. Our Yellow Page market that we teach them uh, begins to attract affluent clients and good clients that are not afraid and not they, you know, they bother them to spend good money for a good service. So, so I guess that would be the great, the biggest takeaway that uh, the biggest change that we make immediately in their business. So you, you'll go in and begin to find the exact areas where they can begin to um, um, create measurable responses and really um, have effective results in the efforts that they're making. Right, right. One of the things that I see is really huge for you and for your clients, really, is that you've already invested in the testing, haven't you? Yes, yes. So you've already been able to prove that this postcard, yeah, we, we, we tell this what, what works, letter, what work. this yeah, sequence, yeah. these words, right. this style of... of um, um, even the way that, that you guys use the trucks and right. the people and the surveys, which I know you guys are right. real big on surveys. Right. Right. I mean, you go in to find out what people want to buy right. and then go sell it to them. That's right. That's right. So, I mean, I've been really surprised at the, at the tools that you've been able to, to share. And so anybody that does have a service industry could benefit from that. Sure. The only difference between a tree care firm and any other firm is... Tree service is already mentioned, okay? You take that out and put your name, whether you're HVAC, whether you're roofing, whether you're whatever. Now, there's going to be a little things you tweak. Not much, not much. Uh, and we'll tweak it for them, but, but it's, it, it's, there's not much difference in a direct uh, three sequence of direct marketing uh, campaign to a, a, a tree firm than there is a, a roofer or a, a really or even a retail store. Maybe a little bit different there. Uh, but uh, when you get into service businesses, it, it's, it's all the same. And, and, and the, the great thing about it, it's done for you. It's there. I mean, all you've got to do is just mail that dude. That's right. You know, that's it. That's right. And, and get the response. Uh, and, and what I was going to go was we also show them some things that didn't work. Ah. We, now, that's almost yeah. as important as what <laughs> does, doesn't it? <laughs> it is, that is very important. Uh, if, if I could show them the rut not to go to uh, that don't do this, we tried this, other businesses tried this, that don't work. Now, here's the key. 
when you get into this type of marketing, a lot of things you're going to think works because you, you, you say, well, it works for Coca-Cola. Right. It works for IBM. Well, yeah, they've got millions of dollars to throw at this stuff. You don't, you know, and, and you need response in a, in a, in a locale, okay? They, they do branding. Uh, now, maybe you get big enough, you might can do that, but right now we can't. And uh, uh, we've, got to, uh, we, we've got to make certain that we get a response from the marketing that we do uh, and that a dollar of that or so or percentage of it goes on that bottom line for every dollar spent. And so, that's what we teach. And before we, before we leave for today, I want to make sure, what is it that you want Arborist to do right now? Okay, what I'd like for them to do is go to arboristmarketing.com, uh, uh, sign up for the free marketing course. Uh, go there, sign up, uh, check and see if we're a fit, check and see if there's something that we, you would like to uh, uh, try in your business, and uh, especially this rec re re recessionary time. Uh, you know, it's, it's a way to go under the radar and bring the good clients in uh, that you're not doing in, brand, in, in branding marketing and in institutional marketing. So go there, sign up, go through the course. You either like it or you won't. Very good. I know that, that we've got... Um, uh, we've had a great show, and I, I really am so thankful, John, for you being on the air today. I know that if any business owner will begin to avoid the mistakes, literally go look at John's stuff. It's free anyways. And look at the mistakes that are there and how you can begin to correct those, change those, and avoid the pitfalls that really um, that all of us will tend to fall into then you're going to change your life and you're going to change your business. You're going to become more profitable than you've ever been. And that's what learning from leaders is really all about, is bringing you tools and techniques and leaders from around the country that are going to give you the keys to the kingdom, the keys to the profit in your business that will make all the difference. I'm really thankful for John being on the show. Thank you so much. Good. Go to arboristmarketing.com, get the, the, the free material, and let your business grow. I mean, really, release yourself to be a life changer, a profit center, and a productive mm, business owner in your area. I mean, we all are in that point where we need more profit because, honestly, in this day, illiquidity is kind of out there. But these give you the keys to making all the difference. This has been Learning from Leaders. I'm your host, Patrick Dewar. Thanks so much for being on the show, and we'll talk to you next week.